Well, percenters, welcome back to 1424 Basketball Training, where the goal is to take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. In today's TG Tape Nuggets, Grizzlies, one of the most exciting players out there, John Morant and uh, Jokic. Let's see what's going on, man. God, I saw, I saw this 360 thing. I don't know if I did a tape on it or a teaching taper. But there was one time when I did a Grizzlies one when I thought he did a three was going to do a 360 and uh, definitely not going to take credit for him seeing the tape. But I knew it was possible for him. So easy. Again, that 5-4 pick and roll or dribble handoff. Start the guy in the corner, ball all the way over here, double stagger, he runs through. All right, start him here, two screens, come here, this guy runs through. If you guys have any inkling of becoming a professional basketball player or a really, really elite basketball player, um, moves can be very, very simple. It's just running off of a curve and then catching and shooting as fast as you can do it, full speed. And obviously with accuracy. This is a, when you know you can blow by anybody, when you know you have superior handles, you're very poised with the ball. Young players tend to go out of control. They try to go too fast. They try to force things, right? Nothing there, probe it around, have them on your hip, foot switch, attack it, right? Sit down, draw three, recognize who's wide open, jump over this guy to get that pass there. It's gonna be a long night for, the, for Jokic because him coming off a of pick and roll is, is gonna be very tough. I was just about to say, if that dude Bane on Grizzlies is making the threes, it's going to be rough. And uh, in terms of body language, they're excited, man. Young and excited team. <laughs> it's eight to two early in the season. No chance for Monte Morris. It's even Composto has a less of a chance. He's gonna have to play like freaking Magic Johnson, like way back Magic Johnson. Shoot it. So they got to play slow. They literally have to play slow. They have to let Jokic do literally everything. They have to play so freaking slow when their uh, top team is out there and then let Jokic just kind of take some plays off on defense, let him walk it up, right, get it to the wing, let uh, Composto set a screen, get a little post up out of Jokic, a free catch, right, if he wanted to. If uh, he wanted to, he could sweep and go, but why bang against somebody who's probably stronger than you? Just size up and shoot. You can get that play on every every possession if you wanted to. <clears throat> Will the Nuggets milk that like crazy? Will they have the balls to milk it every single time? That's easy for John Morant, dude. That's the bones, guys, you like. Just take your time. Yep. Can't contain that dude. Behind the back pass. Don't touch that ball. Bones Highland. This ain't AAU, bro. Great 
Grizzlies got some three point shooters. Oh. No. <laughs> well, Barton. Golly. All right, that wiggle alone right here, this move alone, they just need to play him. <laughs> they need to play him. They need a they need some type of playmaking ability other other than Jokic. Anchored between the legs, cross, cross, skip, crossover, anchored between the legs. Not sure if it's going to work with, with the flow of uh, the Nuggets, but. What's up, Will Barton? Is he from Memphis? What is going on? He's got the legs at a reverse dunk. Oh, my goodness. Hit that three, boy. Will Barton is feeling good, man. Uh oh. Ow. This is decent defense by Jokic. Great move by Jaron Jackson. Pull the three, bro. Dude, I had a little flashbacks of that J.R. Smith reverse dunk, uh, alley-oop dunk right here. Will, Will Barton feeling good with the little arrow pointing up for the lob. Jokic didn't, didn't, didn't want to throw him the lob. He's just doing the regular pass. That was a travel. Beautiful patience, man. Okay, you get that pick and roll, zoning off, get him on your hip, right? All you got to do is hold him and then give that little look back. All he did was a little glance. Um, Steven Adams jumped, jumped to the, to the three. Right hand, right foot finish. Jokic. He's, he's like finishing in the air. So I've noticed that early in the season. He's actually jumping and taking some contact. Normally, uh, I would think he would uh, throw up that little floater or some weird looking thing, but he's actually able to take a bump here from Steven Adams. Control. So a little bit more pop out of him for sure. Jump, hang, bump, land under control, no falling. Yeah, that's how it happened. Jesus Christ. Okay, so Jokic just made a nice move down there. Right, he's cruising right back to the middle. Right, Steven Adams is like, screw this, set the screen. So Jokic has to sprint out here. There's no way even, even at his jogging speed can uh, anybody, not just Jokic, right? Like anybody's, nobody's going to be able to stay in front of John Morant when he wants to do that, especially a center. All right, big old push cross. Drops the ball, taps it back in front of him with the left. Autumn coach. Uh, 
I don't, I don't know what Jokic's stats are, but I'm sure they're pretty damn good. Pump fake, dribble drive. Yes, rebounds, assists, boards. Um, there's absolutely no way he's winning MVP this year. Uh, his game is not exciting enough. Um, the novelty of Jokic is uh, worn off. And it looks like this team is not going to be like top three in the West. Sorry, Jokic fans. Still like him. Doesn't mean he's not good. But the MVP is partially uh Ah, oh, come on, give me a windmill. But the MVP is a par partly political uh, award. Ooh. That was nastier than the, the wide open dunk. Come off that. Dribble handoff. Jokic, I mean, he did what he could. That's John Morant, super elite. I, I, I posed a question yesterday. Would you rather be John Morant or Zach Levine? And uh, <laughs> yesterday I said Zach Levine because I was watching the Bulls, but now I want to be John Morant again. He reminds me of, uh, if you guys remember, Steve Francis. Um, he's like a Russell Westbrook. This is just uh, too easy, right? This is very, very fundamental. Uh, if you've had any type of coaching or watched any type of uh, defense, uh, I mean, any type of basketball, any type of organized basketball, you get a ball, you get a big, right? Fronting their guy. The back corner guy just runs to the nail, okay? And this guy falls asleep. Michael Porter Jr. doesn't see him. So you flash it here, and then you get the lob over the top, a little high-low. Um, Kyle Anderson's a smart player. He ain't fast, but he's definitely smart. Played for uh, UCLA and San Antonio for a long time. Let's go Bones. Throw it down again, Barton. Oh. Still looking, still looking fresh. Wow. Nice move. Kind char. Jaron Jackson. Oh my God. There's a nice little play you guys could learn from. Right? Another little variation on a horn set. So a lot of times, remember uh, the other day we went here, right? They throw it here. Here's the first little action. <laughs> And then I told you it would come across for a pick and roll. Didn't happen, right? Because the other time we saw Jokic just screw this and then he just went to the front. So you get variations. And uh, so when I say smart players just break off plays. So here's that back screen. Uh, it went the other way. I thought it was going this way. And then you get that pick and roll here, right? Nothing happens. They all guard it. He notices that both are, are going to him. So instead of resetting a screen, he noticed that, that Jeff Green's all the way in the paint. So he just backs all the way up. A little tap, tap. The game's really easy when you have players that can uh, make the right reads and then hit open shots. His form is kind of ugly looking. The way he jumps, but doesn't really matter. Goes in. Will Barton, four of six from downtown.
Again? If he's hot, if he's hot, I mean, that's a tough rotation. So you get this pick and roll, right? You get Jokic coming off. You get this guy rolling. Michael Porter Jr. has got to stay there, right? He, he sinks into the gap. He sees it. He reads it. This guy, uh, Chanchar, pulls right to the middle instead of standing there. It's a very, very hard uh, play to defend. Oh. <laughs> Logo Jokic, man. Like these guys, I'm telling you, these guys shoot so easy. They're so strong. They're so big. It's like nothing. I was shooting from like this distance at the gym, and these are not easy shots, man. These guys are so strong, so big. They make it look so easy. So this is the first time I've seen Jokic shoot it from here. But, uh, you know, Luca shoots it routinely from here. Curry. Uh, Damian Lillard, I saw LeBron hit one from here. Uh, geez. Dane is a, you know, pretty solid looking player. No idea who he is, but I've seen a few of the Grizzlies videos now. Super fundamental, man. Nothing particularly special about Monte Moore. Pump fake, gets around, settles into the pocket before anybody can come to him. A lot of times when this shot is there, people will just kind of uh, tend to either push it you know, and they'll hit back rim or they'll try to be too soft. Like, it looks like an easy shot, but it's really not. It takes poise, a lot of practice. There's that play we saw in the first quarter, I think. All right, get it to the wing, get the screen, get a free catch for Jokic rolling right into this little short corner. You can always shoot it if you want. You can post it or they can run some action through there. I guess I guess the best option is to put a bigger, stronger dude on, on John Morant. I, I don't know. Maybe. Obviously, I didn't see the whole game, but there's absolutely no freaking way uh, Aaron Gordon is laterally quick enough to stay with John Morant. The I would have put Bone Thailand on him. <laughs> he's the only dude that re remotely has a chance. He's young. He's probably springy, pretty agile. I'm assuming. At least he could make John Morant work a little bit. Oh, this game's going to overtime, or not? Bane. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stagger screen for Jokic? So slow and patient with the freaking left hand. They didn't score. Oh, 106, 108. Is he going to go to the Sambor spin? Oh, why did you already turn? Well, it's there now if you want it. Here it comes. Nope. Why didn't he go to it? Not enough legs, not enough height down the end. Why didn't he go to the Sambor spin right here? Oh, the heartbreaker. Like right here. Right? You had it. You had it here. I would have done, I would have done one more uh pivot around and then took that dribble and, and went for it. Maybe maybe he was tired. Maybe he didn't have his legs, but uh, I don't know if I want this uh, out of Jokic against a, a strong athletic dude like this. Like here, one, two, 
Oh, you had it even there if you wanted to. All right, typically when you want to go, oh, my bad. I don't know what I did. Well, sorry, I don't know how to use this computer, but typically when, when you uh, go two feet into uh, to, into a jump stop, you want to be able to beat that top foot. So he didn't beat that top foot. So he just jumped and he was even or closed off shoulder to shoulder with him. Uh, but yeah, it looks like a rough road ahead, Jokic Nuggets fans. Uh, all right, guys, until next time, it's still early. Um, hopefully they, they turn it around for, for Nuggets fans. All right, guys, until next time, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.